What's up and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a lovely day. My name is Kanji Ant and I'm currently 23 weeks and 5 days pregnant with baby number 5. And today's video is all about my pregnancy must-haves. This is my 5th baby and my 4th pregnancy. And I think I'm a pro at what I need to make myself comfortable and that did not work for me throughout my pregnancy. So in this video I'm going to be kind of intertwining things that I use in my twin pregnancy just in case you're a mama that is pregnant with twins or multiples. My last pregnancy was a twin pregnancy and a lot of the things that I'm using now came from my previous pregnancy and although I did have to rebuy a couple items because I did sell them or donate them, it was worth it and here I am using it again for baby number five. So any items, so all links will be in the description box below. Also check out my Amazon storefront because the majority of the items here today are from Amazon and I have it all nice and organized for you guys. For me, I actually follow my pregnancy with three different apps. The first one being Pregnancy Plus, Nature, and Ovia Pregnancy. I use Ovia Pregnancy with Ava and so the twins and now this pregnancy and it's something, it's an app that I absolutely love. My older cousin Brisha got me hooked on it. And I also use Nature because I use the app Glow, which is its sister app. And it kind of just tells you, okay, Glow is where you can monitor your periods, ovulation, if you want to avoid um, pregnancies and stuff like that. If you're trying to conceive, those are also really, really good apps to try. It's called Glow. And when I found out that I was pregnant and I plugged it into Glow, it actually recommended me to go to Nature. And I actually used Nature with the twins. So that was pretty exciting. And I love the fact that they have articles on there for each week, each week and each day in the week of your pregnancy. And it gives you a lot of insight, which I really, really love. And it's really different from the Ovia pregnancy app because this one has articles and you can actually with, um, with nature, you can actually talk to other mamas on the app. You can actually join conversations, groups. Although this is my fifth baby, I don't really join too many of the groups and support systems on there. I just Now I just read the articles whenever I'm bored and I just want to see what's going on with my baby for this week. Um, another one that I really enjoy is the Pregnancy Plus app. I like this one particularly because it has the measurement of your baby. And if I, let me see if I can show you guys really quick this is the app right here and it says i'm in my second trimester and i am 23 weeks and five days pregnant so if i click on the picture of the baby which is surreal to me and i go down to this little um measuring tape it, this is actually the size of my baby right now so it's so weird to know that in my hands this is how big my baby is and it just gives me a realization that you know my baby's over a pound and a half almost and that I can really, um, just really, really see baby. I can turn it around and it also has, oh, I didn't know I can do that. It also has some information. It says, for example, hair color, your baby's hair color is beginning to change to the color that it will be at birth. So I think that's really, really cool. And I just use these three apps. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the nature app is it's called Glow Nature. And as you guys can see, it says, you know, I am 23 weeks and five days and it gives how many days left in my pregnancy I have until baby gets here and as well as it has articles if you have the paid version of this app then you will be good and you can have unlimited articles but like for example if I went down to the your baby on day 166 and I clicked on that at the very top it says you can read two more articles for this week in your free member preview and you can just go down and here at the bottom other mamas are commenting and asking for advice and yeah you guys I don't too much comments on there anymore I just kind of just read the articles and stuff like that but yeah and it's a pretty good app and of course Ovia pregnancy is still like the same thing and gives you articles and it gives you reminders about prenatal vitamins and it actually gives you like for example my baby is as the, the size of a Barbie or the length of a Barbie which is so crazy to me. Oh, another thing for me that's super important and then I carry around with me everywhere is a bottle of water. I'm always dehydrated. Literally, my husband and I had this talk because I was not getting enough water and I would have headaches and migraines and stuff like that and then one day I just dedicated myself to drinking nothing but water and I didn't have I didn't have a headache. I didn't feel sluggish or anything like that. And of course for me, drinking water is extremely hard. Drinking water has always been hard for me. 
but I keep reminding myself that it's for the baby and I just need to keep going with it. Another must have for me are the Preggy Pops morning sickness slash nausea medication. It's not medication, but it's a candy. And I don't know who constructed this candy, but let me tell you guys, my first trimester was legit hell. I was nauseous all day long and this candy literally saved my life. Shout out to my friend Taylor. She's the one who got me into it when I was pregnant with the twins and literally as soon as you put the candy in your mouth then the nausea just goes away and I was actually able to do so much around the house. It gave me energy. I didn't have you know the smell irritations that I had. It literally legit helped me and my favorite my favorite flavor was the lime flavor definitely check it out it's a must-have if you're dealing with nausea I was actually gonna get prescribed with the medication because I had really really bad um, morning sickness and I did not want to take medication like that you guys so just having hard candy actually worked and not just the preggy pops for me any kind of hard candy worked but I like the preggy pops because I actually had ginger and ginger helped me out so much my first trimester whether it being from the candies or from ginger ale or a ginger um, essential oil it just helped me out a lot for me this go around I knew that I did get rid of a lot of my maternity clothes with the twins mind you we thought that the twins were gonna be my last so I never thought that I would get pregnant again so I did get rid of a lot of my maternity clothes and I felt as though with the twins I needed maternity, uh, I needed the maternity jeans and bigger shirts and stuff like that. You guys a comfortable set of maternity jeans. It's going to be a game changer for you guys. And then of course, if you guys are going in from winters and you're going to be pregnant majority through the summertime, kind of alternate that. Like for me, I, I started showing a little bit, I started showing pretty early on in my pregnancy. So I did go ahead and get two pairs of maternity biker shorts from O'Navy and y'all I live in those dang biker shorts. I love the fact that the band comes above my belly and it's not rubbing underneath my belly onto my c-section scar and they're just extremely comfortable and I can I can always dress the shorts up or dress the shorts down it works out but yes you guys get you guys a good comfy pair of maternity jeans leggings shorts you will not not be disappointed. My essential moisturizers and oils. This is the lotion that I use and the only reason why I'm showing you guys this and not like a picture is because I actually have it right there on my floor. I'm like let me just show you guys this real quick. I love, I started using this brand alone when we were in Colorado and was had dry skin in Colorado. I don't know what it was. <sighs> the twin just woke up from a nap and daddy is playing with them out there so if it's loud I do apologize I tried to get this video filmed and everything before they woke up from their nap but mom life I, I'm sorry my kids are loud they're kids and they love playing with their father so please try to just ignore the screaming toddlers and kids outside of the door in the loft area. The oils that I put on my belly every single day, twice a day, is bile oil. My sister-in-law, Dulce, got me into it when I was pregnant with my first, Ava, in 2013. She bought me the bile oil, and honestly, it really did help with my itchiness around my belly, you guys. I was always scratching my belly with Ava. I don't know what it was. But actually, I think because I had dry skin with Ava, that's why but I did not get as many stretch marks with it and that was surprising because I I've, like, I already had stretch marks before I was pregnant with Ava so even to this day I put the bio oil all around my stomach and I massage it in there right after a nice long shower and of course early in the morning before I get my day started it just helps and it also helps reduce stretch marks check out bio oil it come in I think two different sizes a smaller size and a bigger size um, and I want to say Ulta Beauty had them back in the day. Don't quote me on this. Ulta Beauty had like little tiny samples if you guys were interested. Just to try it. Just to try it out. Go look, go look at Ulta for samples. Try it out for a day or two. And if you like it, go ahead and get whichever size product that you guys would like. Especially if you guys are pregnant with multiples. Get you guys a very good pregnancy pillow. I got mine from Bye Bye Baby with my twins. And of course, I donated it to another mama who was expecting 
multiples and I had to go and get me another pregnancy bottle body pillow and I got this one off of Amazon I love the fact that it so I love the fact that it was very inexpensive body pillows pregnancy body pillows can cost up into the $80 range and I got mine's pretty affordable off of Amazon this one came in a lot of different colors but of course I chose the basic color which was gray I opted out from getting white because white would have gotten dirty especially with little little gremlin hands like my children or my kids so and I love the fact that I can actually wash it as well I sleep with this body pillow all the time you guys but the twins I started getting really really uncomfortable towards around this time in my pregnancy um, also with hip issues and back issues this pregnancy pillow just helps me get a really really good night's sleep and I love the fact that when I was pregnant with the twins and even this pregnancy I did suffer from insomnia in my first trimester so getting a good pillow getting a good pillow for sleeping one and also a good pregnancy or body pillow we help you take the tension and pressure off of points of your body that you are going to be laying on the most and especially because we're pregnant we can only lay on our sides our backs and we cannot lay on our stomachs getting you guys a good supportive body pregnancy pillow is a must especially if you're pregnant with twins or multiples as well as a singleton baby so for me I started buying these comfy shoes before I got pregnant and the shoes I'm talking about are Crocs I absolutely love Crocs a lot of people hate on them because they're kind of funky looking but if you know me you know I love a good pair of funky sunglasses socks shoes something that a lot of people would not wear so I definitely suggest you guys get a comfy pair of shoes while you guys are pregnant that is a must like at least for me that's a must you just want that support and with Crocs I love the fact that I can do multiple things around the house and I can wear my Crocs I don't have to worry about my feet being confined into tight shoes I can wear them without socks and they can breathe because usually when I'm pregnant especially during the summertime my feet get really sweaty so I try I tend to stay away from closed toed shoes and with socks I just slide my crocs on my feet or my adidas slides I love those as well but I do know once I have the baby my feet are going to swell up and I won't be able to wear my adidas slides for a little bit at least until the swelling goes down but or if I start swelling before I have the baby I know that I won't be able to wear my adidas slides but crocs actually run a little bit bigger and they're a little bit more roomier which I really really love so getting you guys a comfortable pair of shoes is a must also you guys don't like also you guys it does not have to be Crocs find you any comfortable pair of shoes if you find them at Walmart Nordstrom DSW doesn't matter as long as you're comfortable for you and what you need to get by in this pregnancy get them girl so I had this humidifier from Colorado like I said Colorado is extremely dry so we had humidifiers in all of our rooms, the twins, my older two kids, and our room. And with this humidifier, it's actually a humidifier and a diffuser, and we can also put essential oils in it, which I love because I love my essential oils in my home. Ask my husband, I have a whole box full of essential oils I have yet to organize. But getting you guys a humidifier would definitely help out with the dryness that you guys will wake up with, at least for me. I wake up every morning with a dry nose, and that was not, I've never had that with any other pregnancy. But here in South Carolina, it's really, really hot. It's not too much dry, but it is hot, I will admit. So having a humidifier, and this humidifier blows out cold mist. And when I had the warm mist humidifiers, like the Vicks ones, it did not work. All of this would just get crusty and dry, and it would just hurt to try to clean out your nose, and, and it just burned for me. So I always put a little drop of lavender for bedtime as well as I want to say calamine, calamine essential oil in it and it just helps me breathe better at night also if you have like Vicks medication you can also put that in a humidifier but let me just tell you guys humidifier for us even for my husband who wakes up with the dry nose that is just a must have for you guys y'all so I was a kind of like I told you guys before I wanted to save money throughout my pregnancy you guys don't be like me alright do not be like me trying to do cheap and you know, trying to save money because I didn't want to spend additional money. Get you guys a good comfy sleeping bra or just a comfy bra. For me, I absolutely hate bras that have wires and pads. I got me a comfortable sleep bra that I wore almost all the time. It came in a pack, I want to say of three or four. I got it off of Amazon. And I can also link some other ones from Target and Walmart to you guys. Get you guys a comfortable bra. 
your breasts are going to change sizes throughout your whole pregnancy and it's going to be even bigger they're going to be even bigger once your baby gets here so investing in a really good sleep bra slash comfy bra that has no wires in it to keep you guys comfortable and keep that weight of your breast off of yourself that just helped me out so much it's a game changer i i still wear to this day i still wear my comfortable nursing bras from when i was breastfeeding the twins they're just comfortable you guys and i already noticed that the bras that i've worn regular bras they are just uncomfortable for me the wire dips into my skin i feel like my breasts are just filling out a little bit more and of course that's normal your breasts are going to change throughout pregnancy and when you have a baby so i just know that i'm not going to be in normal bras for too much longer but i know i can always depend on my my comfy sleep bras slash sports bras to keep me going and keep me comfortable throughout this pregnancy because y'all i'm quick to throw my bra off i am quick to take this bra off when i get home I don't like it I don't like wearing bras like comment below if you guys do not like wearing bras either like my husband I was taking my bra off in the car on the way home I don't like wearing bras people should be lucky that I actually wear a bra out in public because trust and believe I don't like wearing these things it's actually pretty fun for me I needed this when I was pregnant with Ava and I love I needed it when I was pregnant with my son Ansel so I just kept it which is really weird because I had Ava young and I didn't think I would have a baby you know, within the next couple of years of having Ava, but I did. And the next item I'm talking about is a fetal Doppler and the gel to go along with it. You guys, this is just something fun. For me, I was very paranoid with my son because I had two miscarriages before him. And I found myself using the fetal Doppler every single morning, noon, and night. If I didn't feel him move, I would immediately get the fetal Doppler. And that was just paranoia for me. And I've really settled down with the twins that even this pregnancy, I don't have a fetal Doppler. But for me, that's a pregnancy must have, especially if you're a first time mom. This one is kind of funny and it came off as a joke when I was in college. But one of my, um, one of my friends were, as she wasn't pregnant at the time, she was an experienced mom. I think she had four kids at the time. She told me to invest in a razor extender, you guys, because you will get huge. And for me, bending over in the shower trying to shave my legs with all of that weight felt like I was suffocating in the shower so this rain this razor extender you just attach on your razor onto the extender and you can actually just like you can actually just shave your legs without having to struggle with bending over y'all it's a game changer it's pretty affordable you can get them off of Amazon and you will thank me later I did not have to ask my husband for help he did not have to come in and shave my legs and I was able to shave all of my legs both of my legs but threw it away and I really regret it so I had to rebuy it um, I'm not really at that point where I can't shave my legs right now but I know these next couple of weeks once baby starts gaining its little fat and all its weight I know I'm definitely going to need this razor extender so with that being said yes y'all get y'all a razor extender so you guys can shave y'all's legs with comfort it's really important getting you guys a very good prenatal vitamin i'm not going to recommend the kind that i use because it differs from mama to mama but getting you guys a very very good prenatal vitamin is vital you guys you need to make sure it has i think the fully acid the iron the calcium all of that stuff and i've noticed that um with me for me it takes it takes a lot for me to take prenatal vitamins so instead i take prenatal gummies and i can I can suggest gummies to you guys because I absolutely hate swallowing pills. For me, it just makes me, I don't know, I just hate swallowing. Like, why are they so big? I don't understand why prenatal vitamins are such an arm and a leg. And of course, you can actually um, go to the store and get, you know, your iron, your calcium, um, folic acid pills and take those individually. Prenatal just has it all in one pill. You guys, but for me, it takes it takes a lot out of me to swallow a pill yes it's crazy and first third for first world problems but you know what you guys i have never liked swallowing big pills ever so with that being said for me personally i always um i love taking prenatal gummies i can take those all day long i take two of them in the morning and i think two of them in the evening is that right or one in the morning and one in the evening 
for the prenatal that I take. I will list in my Amazon cart for you guys. So this next one can actually work for a mama who is pregnant with a singleton, but for me, this helped me out, y'all, when I was pregnant with my twins, and that was a belly band. Y'all, I cannot recommend this belly band enough. That if, if anybody asks me, so what's your what's your top five pregnancy items for twins? A belly band is one item. I was the size of a 30 week pregnant woman around 22 weeks of pregnancy. And mind you guys, I had just had a car accident, so that my back was hurting, my hips were hurting. I needed that extra support. The belly band gave me the extra support without me not feeling uncomfortable. And I didn't think I would need this, but my physical therapist told me, hey, girl, get you a good belly band to help you su like help support this extra baby weight. And literally, it helped me so much with the extra weight that I have from the girls. And it just felt like I could just breathe a little bit better. It felt like I can stand up a little bit longer. Okay, y'all, so I think this pretty much wraps up my pregnancy must-have videos for you guys. If you guys have any other recommendations that you think I should have added to this video, please don't forget to comment below. If you watch this video all the way through and you like content like this, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It lets me know that you guys actually enjoy videos like this. And I know that I've asked on my community chat what videos you guys are interested in, but these are just videos I feel as though it can help other mamas out there. So I want to just throw that out there right now. And I want to say I do want to, I do want to make another video for my third trimester pregnancy must have, which is going to be a completely different video. Um, I think that'll be really beneficial for mamas who are in their third trimester. But yeah, my kid is screaming downstairs and she's trying to get up here to me because I'm filming. Bye guys.